AFTV, um, happy with that um, result? Yeah, I'm happy with it, to be honest. Um, before the game, I was thinking, I hope we don't rotate the squad and play John Jules and them and there, but... Mm. I'm happy to see a strong lineup. I wanted to see John Jules no, actually. Do you know what it is? Like, I did. I was, you know, what I mean, I was hoping that he could get on, but as the game started, you could see it was, uh, it was going to be a really tough game. But I did want to see John Jules because he's been doing brilliantly in the under 23s. I think we got to really take this competition seriously. This and Europa, mm. but more, more this FA Cup because mm. this is really our only chance of getting back in Europe, and it will be a disaster if we don't even make Europa. It doesn't mm. look like we're getting top six, so I don't know. We have to take it seriously, but. Mm. The first half, it didn't look like the players did at all. And it was kind of shocking to watch, especially with the lineup. I, mm. I was expecting a lot more. I'm thinking, mm. come half time, I'm thinking, I hope Arteta goes in there, kicks the water bottle on Rob Holden's head top because he was making yeah. terrible decisions, man. Mm. I'm thinking it's a matter of time before the ball rolls under his foot and leads are in. But mm. I'm happy to see the clean sheet in the end. The second half, they did step it up. And I'm yeah. happy about that because they had to, man. Mm. Another thing um, people were saying, Lacazette wasn't in the squad. He weren't even on the bench or anything like that, which... It raises the concerns because of the transfer window. We no, like I did. You, I mean, Abamyang, Abamyang. Abamyang. His contract's running down, isn't it? So I think, I think that was just a risky I thing. So, I mean, I hope the, so. we got to get we got a big game there on Saturday. It does. You know what I mean? That, um, you know, I think he. I think that was just a again, a resting thing. Then again, the league's done. We need to be taking this seriously. I would have liked to at least. Is is you know top mean? four done? Yeah, yeah, it's done. It's done. It's done. Realistically, well, it's done. You know, you know what? Like someone was saying to me today. The, um, you know, Tottenham have got a great chance of still getting into the top four, right? They're only three points above us, so I know it, I know it looks like it's done, but is it done? It's still a lot of games. Is it's it done? Not, it's not all about points and, and league table. We had an awful run of games, man. I know we didn't play too bad against Manu and Chelsea, but mm. the way we're playing, it's not good enough. It's, yeah, but he's a new manager in now. Is it done? Is, is it, Tottenham are three points ahead of us man united are four points ahead of us and had they um had the result have gone for them the other day and they beaten us and a couple of results have gone their way they might have been like just a point off the top four mm, so is saying. it done i see what you're saying but i think if we get top six that i think we've done really well to even get that to be mm. honest i think this is definitely realistically you're right but this, this they've got to keep chance. fighting right through to the end haven't they this and europa is our best chance of european mm. football this season so i hope i hope we do well in this competition but Leeds isn't the toughest team we're going to face in this, so we do need to step not up. Not an so. easy team, though. Then and not, and, and you've not. seen shocks. You've seen shocks over this weekend. And, and I'd say, I mean, you saw uh, Tottenham I'm talking about again. They went mm. yesterday <laughs> to Middlesbrough, only just got a draw in yeah, that game. Yeah. And with Leeds have been yeah. flying in the championship. Yeah, I've, I thought you have to treat mm. them like a Premier League team. You know, We've got Bournemouth in the next round. I see Leeds and Bournemouth. There's not too much difference in there as mm. well. So... I'm, I'm, glad he, I'm glad he's taking it seriously anyway, because I can see Arteta was passionate about this game, screaming on the touchline and that, but mm. yeah, Rob Holding needs to... I'm happy to see him back, but he needs to sort it out, man. Because there was rusty. One, there was one way... He's rusty, yeah, but there was mm. one way he, he tried to make a pass out from the back to Xhaka, and then he's getting mad at Xhaka, shouting at Xhaka, and then thinking it was Socrates who had to split them up. I'm thinking, what are mm. you doing? Just own your mistake and just say, listen, I'm sorry, man, and come back better, man. His attitude's a bit wrong, but... Hopefully, hopefully he gets back into it, man, because we do need, mm. we need defenders, man. We need defenders. Cool. Yeah.